In this video, we will discuss how thermodynamics and electrochemistry are related mathematically. Um, some important things we need to make sure we know is that delta G is called Gibbs free energy at standard conditions, and it's going to be a measure of the total energy that is gained or lost by a system. Um, you need to know that it's favorable to lose energy. And because it's favorable to lose energy, if we're losing, our energy should be negative. So that'll be a negative delta G. And then if we gain energy, we'd have a positive delta G, which would be unfavorable. Okay, these are the two reactions we're going to worry about here. We see that we've already talked about the Nernst equation, Faraday's constant, um, Next notes is I equals Q over T. And I don't know why AP does this, but these are all delta G equals. Okay, so we're going to focus on these two. If we look at this first one, delta G, some people call this rat link, but I call it delta G equals minus RT ln of K. This is how we can get delta G if we're given K. Okay, R is 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. The temperature is always going to be in Kelvin. Okay, we'll talk about how you solve for K, but this would be a formula to know if you struggle with natural logs because Algebra 2 hasn't covered them yet, most likely. Our other equation that we're going to use is how we solve for delta G when we're given voltage. Okay, so what you should be able to do if you're given natural log is you should be able to isolate a problem down to natural log of whatever variable equals that number. What you do is you take E, the inverse of natural log is actually E to whatever numbers on the other side and that will isolate your variable. So let's see how this works. What I want to do is calculate delta G and all I'm given is this uh, information. And so what I do is I go through and I say Cu plus 2 is reduced. And if I look at my uh, standard reduction potential table, the cathode is 0 0.34 volts and the anode is negative 0 0.44 volts. And so E cell is equal to E cathode minus E anode and um, no one tells us that this is a galvanic cell so we don't know if it's thermodynamically favorable but we'll plug in our numbers and we do get a positive voltage so it is thermodynamically favorable Okay, so I want to calculate delta G. Delta G is equal to minus N F E. Our N here, it looks like it's 2. Okay, F is always 96.485 coulombs per mole. And then um, E is 0 0.78 volts. One thing that's weird that you just want to know is that delta G will be in joules per mole. Okay, that's just how it'll solve out. And that's because a coulomb times a volt will actually be a joule. And so when I multiply these, my calculator tells me I get negative 1.51 times 10 to the fifth joules per mole. And this is thermodynamically favorable. Um, a couple reasons for that. We have a positive voltage and a negative delta G, which those should always happen. Um, you could use either of those to justify your answer. Now, I know the question doesn't say it, but I want to show how we get uh, K. So delta G is our middleman. There's an equation, delta G equals minus RT ln of K. So let's solve for K. Delta G is 1.51 times 10 to the fifth. And it's negative equals minus 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. We'll assume we're at 298 Kelvin because we're at standard conditions. And we'll solve for ln of k. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate ln of k by dividing over 8.314. 
and 298. And I get ln of k equals 60.9. So what I'm going to do is I want just k, so I'm going to take e to whatever number is on the opposite side. That's going to be 60.9. That's going to equal k. So I'm going to take e to the 60.9 power. And k is going to be 2.81 times 10 to the 26. Again, all these numbers should be making sense because a thermodynamically favorable reaction will be spontaneous, meaning it'll be product favored, which means for K, my numerator should be really big because we're forming a lot of products.